us pray. Father, we thank you for this very hour. Thank you once again for the privilege and opportunity to come to spread your word. Lord, I pray that through this teaching that you raise up another Al-Qaeda for the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, men and women that want to take the kingdom without the cost of their, of their life. Lord, I pray that you will use me as a vessel to minister to your people. Have your way and they prosper your word this evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, I welcome you once again to another series of the rules of heaven. I'm now at the moment at uh, Majesty Television Network here in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. I believe the Lord has been blessing you. And I have been encouraging uh, the ministers that as many as uh, want more explanation, you can contact me. Of course, I want to assure you that this message is too heavy for a, a normal church member. It's purely for spiritual adults, especially pastors and warfare ministers. I've been, um, you know, for some weeks now, trying to lay down foundations. Uh, how we, the Christian, could move forward. I'm talking about the rules of heaven. You cannot fight Satan without understanding who Satan is and his kingdom. I've spent time to talk about Satan to a major kingdom. You can see them here. So now today I'm going to talk about warfare and deliverance. Warfare and deliverance, they are like husband and wife. They're like brothers and sisters. They are partners. Um, Matthew chapter 11 verse 12 the Bible says, since the days of the John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence take it by force. And Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 talk about powers that are confronting uh, humanity and the church of God. As you look at the church of God today, the whole world, um, from the information from the Almighty God, Less than 40% of the church are operating at the installed capacity. That means over 60% are still vacuum. So that means that the church have a long way to go. If you look at our world today, you find out that it seems that Satan is getting more stronger than the church. Why? Because of lack of knowledge. Churches are spending time. I can bear you witness there are a lot of faithful Christians who are praying for God's power need to come down. They are spending their lots of time in um, warfare prayer, night vigil, personal night vigil, and corporate night vigil. It seems that the prayer is not doing enough uh, job. Of course he's doing. But now, as Satan is increasing, uh, before, uh, you know, witches and the uh, wizard kingdom, it they were called it before sacred uh, society. Now is no more sacred. Satan is coming out with a full force, said we don't want to hide anymore. And many people are embracing his doctrine. And God is not going to keep quiet. And the law have said in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26 to 29, that he's going to raise up the weak Christian to confront those that are mighty. Non-entity. That God is going to pour down his wisdom. The Lord is doing a great thing. I have said many times that this information, they are true. Of course, they are new. All of them are in the Bible, only that God is taking the church to another level. When you talk about spiritual warfare and deliverance, that is what the church needs. I told you before that this 21st century is for the youth because many pastors have disappointed the Almighty. God have no choice than to raise up a fresh blood to defend his glory. Another point is warfare and deliverance. I don't know the exact percentage, but I guess with what my eye have seen and the knowledge I have that over 60% of Christians need deliverance. Pastors, their wife, need their children. Many of them are aware of this, but they don't know how to solve the problem. I can assure you the time for rejoicing have come. Only believe this is what you can do for yourself. 
before you can talk about deliverer, you have to understand the, the principle. I put a few names. Now, I talk about our natural country, spiritual name for Satan's side and God's side. If I have all the spiritual name of the whole country in the whole world, but because of time, I pick, I pick about a few numbers. Algeria now is identified in Satan kingdom by Suba. In Satan, we call it Algeria, but demonic realm, they're known as Suba. Belgium is known as Bo. America is Ira. Nigerian is Beast. Holland is Yukos. Ghana is Ghana Wars. Indian is Demon Realm United World. Demon Realm United World. Now let's go to the God, God side. If you look at America, many blessing, many in the crosses. Nigeria is blessing. Holland is peace. Ghana is joy. Now, if you look at this, when I look at this, I become mad. I say, look at, look, if you look at, no, I take Nigeria to uh, explain my point this evening. If you look at Ghana today, I don't know how many percentage of joy did they have. Originally, when God created Ghana, he created it to be a joyful country. But Satan, you know how the Ghana was. You know, Satan changed it. And uh, if you look at Nigeria, it's beast. That is the name Satan knows Nigeria to be. And the God original plan for Nigeria is blessing. If you look at Nigeria, it's one of the richest countries in the, in the world. Yet, the poorest. And if you look at the people of Nigeria, you can understand that Satan is right. People behave like animals in that country. Some people. Now, how can you effectively, effectively fight a spiritual warfare? The, the Lord Jesus Christ told the, the Christian, Behold, I give unto you power. Another word, where I stop, continue. In months to come or weeks need to come, I will tell you why Jesus could not continue and they handle the authority and power to the church. If you don't understand, you cannot understand the Bible unless you understand the realm, especially the Satan kingdom. Because without Satan kingdom, there will not be Bible. Because in the Garden of Eden, by God come and their fellowship with, with Adam and Eve. The law started when Adam disappointed the Lord. And whatever the Lord said, do not do, is what Satan approved. And if you don't know about this, you will be a defeated Christian. Satan will be managing your life. They will use your life as a football field or as an experimental laboratory. That is why you see many Christians are very depressed. There's no joy. You look at their faces. You know, pain, crying for help, but the hour has come. Now, take like Nigeria. About 2011, a year before Boko Haram struck, <coughs> I wrote a letter to the Nigerian president, said they, they more have to, uh, Satan want to strike Nigeria. Because when God had given me the inform, inf, uh, information about uh, that Satan want to attack Nigeria, then I begin to look for who knows need the president. Begin to call phone all over the world. Now I contacted one Nigerian ambassador here in Europe. I sent the letter, explained the details about what is going to happen to Nigeria. In that letter, I even wrote that anyone that go to hinder this letter, not to reach the president, the leprosy of Naaman will cleave to his children and the him for all generations. And the blood and sacrifice will not purge it. Just to tell them the urgency of the letter. And I don't know whether the president got it. I personally used my credit card and the, uh, to send the DHL to the president. After many months, after three months of uh, searching for the address. Eventually through one journalist, I got the address. I forwarded the letter to the president. I didn't get the letter back. That means the president received it. After a year, then it was August 2011. Go and check it. After a year, Boko Haram hit. Before that time, the Lord revealed to me what the problem on Nigeria. Nigerian problem started from 1st 77. 
If anybody know president, you can forward this mes message need to him. This first tag, those of us who are old enough, you know it was a, a satanic worship. All Africa, all the black people all over the world came with their gods. And that is where 15 Nigerian men and women covenanted with Satan and sold Nigeria to Satan. If you go and look at the history of Nigeria, I found that after this time, Nigeria is no more Nigeria again. Now, another information I got is saying why Africa was the way it is now. Africa was part of the Garden of Eden. AD 900, exactly 2008, a man called Fatu Amodu, I don't know where the man comes from, maybe South Africa. AD 900, about 2008 in the evening, is where the man converted with Satan to sell or uh, to, you know, exchange African wealth with Satan. Uh, it is good to understand it. I don't have time to, to explain, explain this. That 2011, I was weak for many days. Taking phone, calling all over the world, saying, look at what is going to happen. And this covenant of uh, Africa is renewed every 50 years. It expired two years ago. So it's, it's now activated for the next 50 years, Africa will be in bondage. Now let me come to Nigeria. Uh, I, in the letter, I, I tried to explain, said there is a, a demonic spirit from Luther Kingdom. You know, that's why I brought it here. I told you Luther Kingdom. Now, this spirit is called Tistambu. At that 2011, there were 3 million in, num in number waiting to strike. If Christians have prayed, Nigeria will not be where it is now. Now, how are you going to, this at Istanbul, they are self-existent. Look at the, whole, uh, the way Boko Haram behave. Exactly. You can't control them. In fact, they are special forces of Satan. Satan doesn't use them always. Of course, you know that God himself is not, is not happy with Nigeria. At that time, God, uh, the angels that are guiding Nigeria, have withdrew his service because God, God was angry with Nigeria. I'm not sure at this moment if God has restored the protection, but God still protects his own people, protects his church, and protects his uh, uh, children. But as a nation, I'm not sure at this moment. That is why Satan can reign anarchy in Nigeria without hindrance. If you look at Nigerian pastors, they are the number one worst pastor all over in the world. Evil. Another way you can describe Nigeria is evil. Why? Because of certain activity. And when the Lord revealed this to me, He showed me the covenant material. It took me to the Nigerian kingdom, that is a beast kingdom in a, in a certain kingdom. Show everything. Now, I couldn't able me to handle it. For many weeks, I could not able to sleep. I tried to pray. Ask the Lord. The Lord said, stop praying. Because my anger wants to boil against Nigeria. That's why Nigeria, in all those pastors that are praying, say that I will pray against the Boko Haram. I said, sir, I, I, I know one big pastor, very, very big, one of the top Nigeria, even number two or three pastors in Nigeria. He's there for YouTube. He said, God has an, uh, anointed me need to dis, dis, uh, destroy Boko Haram. I say, sir, you are lying because you don't know what you're saying. It's not the large of the church that make you a true man of God. You don't lie against the, the, the word of God. I know what the Lord is doing. I say, sir, you are wrong. In fact, the way God has done it, that, that week, he preached on Sunday, that week is the, is the week that Satan, you know, afflict pain against churches. They attack churches and kill a number of Christians. I say, sir, don't you see that you are not right? You know, I'm giving this information. And if we are these top ministers, they say this is the man of God. But I'm telling you what the Lord is doing. They say, who knows this person? Many are even angry. But you are going to see. Now, how can you, now let's take the case of Nigeria as an example. How can you fight Boko Haram? We defeated. Government are wasting money. Government are wasting life. Simple way, Boko Haram can be solved within seven days. At least need to quench them. 
How do you get this to Boko Haram? You go to Beast Kingdom because that is where the demons, you know, Boko Haram's uh, Boko Haram or Haram, uh, they are just innocent uh, vessel. Only that because they are most they are not protected. Satan use them. They are lawful captive. They are innocent. Those people that are killing them, we are they are sending soul to hell. These are the souls that Jesus died for. Jesus is not happy because these men are being killed, although they are Muslims. They, they are being used, just as Satan used ordinary human beings. If we want to fight this with Boko Haram or other things, what do you do? You go to the Beast Kingdom. Now, there are some information you need, you need to know. You need to know the which, which section, because I told you that each kingdom uh, uh, have, is like a country. Uh, beast like in Nigeria, just as we have, uh, I think about 30 state or 50 state in Nigeria, I don't know in, in, anymore, so need they, need they have uh, the same state, because I told you before that uh, physical is the duplicate of spiritual. In demonic realm, whatever you see, like here, Yukos, that is a Holland, this building exists in the realm, the street, everything, we are just a duplicate, also in God's kingdom. Jesus said, before Abraham, I was. I talked about our existence, how new we come to be, that we are in existence in the realm before we come to be where we are. So, in able to fight Satan and defeat him, he's a weak entity, he's a weak fellow, because Jesus has already defeated him. Because we see him as a strong man. No, he's a weak fellow. Because of information. What do we do now? Be you have to trace uh, this kingdom to a particular family that are causing problem in Nigeria. You look at the head demon that are guiding them, then you focus battle against this kingdom. By the time you pray about a week, you are going to see the effectiveness of your prayer. All this fasting, you know, the I call uh, some leaders in Nigeria who are prayer warriors, Nigerian intercessors, they say we are tired. When I got and give this information, we say nobody is interested again. I say don't give up. I try need to give them this information, although it is a heavy information. You must get a heart. Need to face this kingdom because Satan is going to react. But if you look at your strength, you are going to run away. But when you look at the strength of Jesus, you are going to stand because Jesus said, I give you power. We are not the one that uh, do need the, need the work. We are just a vessel. And Satan is using Boko Haram to, to destroy country Nigeria. So God is using us as a vessel to destroy the work of Satan. Christians don't need to run away. So what do we do? Now the goal is Nigerian blessing. As far as this kingdom is still standing, Nigeria is not going to know peace. It's not a cause. Uh, I'm from that country. It pains me every day. Where Nigeria is supposed to be now, it's not where they are now. As long as because there are powers that are ruling the uh, Nigeria. Good luck, President. Good luck is not the real man that are ruling the Nigeria. It's a figure. There are silent, you know, rulers who are directly working with Satan. They are the ones that de determine what happened in the country. Not only na uh, Nigeria, it's all over the world. So Christians have authority to control a nation. That is the goal. In every state house, there's a power that rules it. I'm going to come with it later. So when you control in the state house, the president, those appointed, they want to do a good job. But when they enter in the post, another power new will come. Say, listen, you are on board. Welcome. This is the rule of the master. Because it's a powerful place, uh, many say, okay, let us follow. This is why the nation are what they are now. If you look at Egypt today now, look at now the chaos. Uh, if you want to control Egypt, it's a three days prayer. If those people in that country, they can rise up and pray. Focus on the spiritual realm. When the, when the kingdom is destroyed, the natural country, that's a kingdom, will be, will be died and there will be peace. Here in, in, in Holland, you, goes, uh, you see, because some people are doing a secret warfare, bombarding you, goes. you, you can do a lot. You can do a lot. God is calling Christians. 
That is why people who are spending time playing the game which is a wizard, Satan is using it as a distraction. Only when you under, understand this. Now, if you want to pray about Ghana, what do you go? You go to the kingdom, how Ghana was. You begin to attack. Serious prayer. Because devil, when you destroy a kingdom, within one or two days, he build again. So that is why Jesus said, prayer without season. Warfare continues because Satan himself is not resting. He's fighting every day. We Christians need to fight every day. <coughs> Excuse me. Why is warfare necessary? I use Nigerian case to uh, explain my point. Deliverance and warfare go in hand in hand. Sometimes, when somebody is caged, because anybody that are bound by the Satan is started for demonic realm. But you have to find out which realm that person belongs. In the realm, they what they call an altar. When the person is altered, because from there need they control the person. If you want to get the person delivered, focus on the altar and the kingdom. It happened to a woman that was uh, mentally admitted uh, in the psychiatric hospital. The husband called me. I haven't seen them face to face. When the husband called me, he said, Pastor, see what is happening. I went to the Lord. The Lord said, look at the kingdom, Pabla kingdom. He said, it's at the altar, the head demon is called a techno. The Lord said, you and your wife go and pray for level 9 to 12. He gave all the information. From level we start, no, from 12 when we start, one we stop. I said, the brother, go and sleep. Don't worry yourself. It's a far away country, not here in Holland. 10 o'clock in, in the morning, the husband went to go and visit the, the, the wife. The woman have not talked for almost two weeks. I have no shower, she have no eat. I was at the place of work, he called me. He said, Pastor, uh, let me give you a phone. The woman who had never talked, he said, Pastor, thank you, sir. What? I said, what happened? I said, sir, take your wife home. The doctor said, no, we've never seen any, anything like this. Let's go and change her, his, check her, her blood. Maybe there's something went wrong. They spent two days control nothing. He went home. We, I didn't fast. I didn't call for the whole church and need to pray. Just one hour prayer. Why was my prayer too effective? Because of knowledge. That is the goal. If you pastors are going to humble your, yourself, say, I want to know these things. Because you cannot be a pastor, you are afraid of Satan. Why are you a pastor? Why are you an apostle? Why are you a prophet? Why are you a bishop? Whatever title you gave yourself. To be a Christian, Bible says you are a soldier. Every child of God, even a child that is born again today, can pray this prayer and they destroy a kingdom of Satan ten times the size of Holland. Satan is just deceiving us, making us to feel that he's too powerful. No, he's not too powerful. That is the essence of this message. That is the essence of this uh, teaching. The pastors will rise up, begin to teach your church strategic warfare and begin to deliver them because Jesus Christ is looking at another Al-Qaeda. You know, I use Al-Qaeda as the Muslim forces. These men, I love them. I love them too much because uh, they, are, they, they defend their God. Christians are very afraid. When they hear about uh, 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 witches and wizards, they'll be panicking. Somebody threatening them. Look at Christians today, not over the world. Most of them don't allow them need to need to operate. They say, don't build a church here. They are running away. And the, when, when the Bible says, the earth is the Lord and fullness thereof. Look at uh, northern Nigeria. How they destroy churches. Oh, you know, when I see it, it pains me. I say, had, be, had, been, no, had, had it been that they no need their right. It's just one day prayer or three days prayer. The power of Satan quench. And God will help us in the name of Jesus. So I still encourage you. Don't be afraid. You know the, the goodness of this thing. When you engage such a spiritual warfare, your spiritual protection will, will be increased. If God has been guiding you with a one or two angels, God will give you thousands because you know that this is an important ministry. Because this is where the church is going. A time has come. But God is looking for David said. 
who we consecrate these days to the Almighty God? Who is that pastor that said, my life does not count for me? I have only one life. That life is to glorify Jesus Christ. That said, I don't care. I want to defend the, the glory of God. Those are the men that Jesus is looking for. Not all these pastors were just you know, preaching recycled messages. You know, every day, every week, you know, reading the same Bible. God said, this said, no, we know the, the whole truth. Go and possess. Go and conquer. Go and occupy it. Is that, is that not what Jesus said? He said, occupy till I come. You agree with me that we are not occupying. We are running away. But the hour has come. I pray that the Lord will the church. All those fearful ministers, all those that are running away ministers, the Spirit of God will come upon them. They will rise up and put spiritual armor and carry the sword and go to the battlefield. God is looking for cavalry division, the army of the Most High that said, move forward and not to go back. May God bless you. Father, we, I pray that this message, you will prosper it in the name of Jesus. Lord, raise up an army that will defend your glory. Lord, I know that there are many pastors who are crying for your revival. Lord, get them in contact with this message and give them the, the courage need to stand and move forward. Open their spiritual eye, Lord. This thing you have shown me, show others as well. Because secret things belong to our God, but those things that are revealed are for our God. Uh, they, they are for us and our children, so that we may learn how to fear the Almighty God. Lord, reveal this to another minister, so that we all will join hand and do your will. I thank you, Lord, for your answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.